Okay, so we're back. We only have, I think we have about a minute left on our chicken. And I just wanted to go over the lettuce. I do have this wonderful butter lettuce or Boston lettuce, whatever you have, whatever greens you have. And I have it in a bowl. I just kind of broke it up a little bit. And I'm just going to season a little bit with some kosher salt and black pepper. And you can use whatever dressing, my goodness, you can even use lemon juice and olive oil. You can use a vinegar and olive oil. Here I have a white balsamic vinegar and lemon juice with extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just going to go around the edge of the bowl with the dressing, just around like a tablespoon worth. And the reason is you don't want to saturate that instead of just putting it right on the green. Right, because then it just kind of saturates it and it makes it very limp very quickly. So this way here, if you go around the bowl and then toss it, it doesn't become limp. And also it gives you a chance, let's grab that piece of lettuce. If you feel that you might need a little more dressing, you can go ahead and put a little bit more around the bowl. But the idea is to not overdress this beautiful butter lettuce that I have here. Oh, and then all you want to do is just There's taste my timer it. for the chicken. Okay. Mine just went off. Yep. And I'm going to pull mine out too. This is more than enough dressing. It's perfect. So we're all set. And I will go ahead and pull out my chicken as well. If you want to get yours on your cutting board, I'll grab mine. There goes mine. Ooh. Okay. And it looks. This is okay. In. I'm going to grab a pot holder just so I can bring it a little closer to you so you can see it. All right. Okay. So here's our chicken. And if you actually touch the skin, it's so, can you hear that crunch? Yeah. It's so, oh yeah, yours looks great. That looks totally. delicious. Okay, so we're going to set it down. And now we can, you can go ahead and serve it this way, or you can actually plate it. And the only one thing I want to do is grab a skewer just to make sure that the potatoes are cooked. And oh yeah, they're nice and tender. Yeah, perfect. Really perfect. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is actually set your chicken thighs aside. So do you have a plate to put your thighs on? I do. And just and, uh, for anyone who has like a restaurant before, Perfect. You, might, you might recognize this as the chicken plate. So I'm putting them on my cutting board here and just going to set these aside. There we go. Oh, these look really, really good. So you don't even like test your chicken with a timer to make sure that it's done. You just know. The only thing that you can do is if you actually put a skewer through, that it should just be clear juices that are going to come through the meat. So it should just run nice and clear. That's really the way to test it. But I can tell you that these are perfectly cooked. Okay. So now what you want to do, I'm just going to grab a little sizzle pan here, but if you happen to have a sizzle pan or whatever, what you want to do is just pick up all of your herbs and all of the lemon slices. We're not going to eat it because all of the flavor of the lemon and the herbs is actually in the meat. The other thing, now is a really good time to show you well, let me remove the lemon slices first and then I'll show you how beautiful the onions and the garlic look. How are your onions looking, Amanda? Well, it's interesting because the ones around the edge are like 100% charcoal burnt. And then the oh. ones underneath are like very nice and soft. Good. 
So the ones on the edge, if you don't want, you can just leave on your tray. Um, actually, some yeah, people actually like right. Okay. Now I have removed all of the thyme and all of the lemon, but all of the garlic and the onions. Do you see? Can you see how melted they are? The only thing oh, that you see thing. that. Okay. So the only thing that's important to know is that you really want to tuck your onions underneath. And it could be because you had four and maybe you, you, did you use the same size tray as I did, Amanda? I did, but you know what? Maybe it's just good to know, like it's not maybe the, uh, it's better probably to do it with the eight size. Or use a quarter sheet pan instead of a half sheet pan. For oh four. yeah. That would, right, that would make sense. So maybe a smaller tray would have been the answer okay. so that it didn't get so dark on the outside. Yeah. Okay, so now you just want to take your onions and your garlic and you're going to put them on your platter first. And they are seriously, they taste like melted onions and all the flavor of the herbs and the lemon and the chicken are all infused into the lemons. And they're just delicious. It's like onions in a French onion soup, right? You know, that's a really good way to describe it. Bob just said it's like onions in a French onion soup, and he's right. Well, and I, the know have a, I know you have a better comparison. What about the onions in that onion crepe appetizer you so oh, you, is there a YouTube video for that yet? I have not done that. I mean, oh. I don't think that's a better comparison. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, you could have said another comparison. Okay. You need to say a better comparison. But so now you can see my tray. And if Amanda wants to take a peek, oh, right? Oh. All the onions are gone. Okay. So now I have this beautiful platter with all the onions in the center. And now I'm going to place the chicken right on top and we can put the potatoes all around it. I can't, how is your skin? Is it really nice and crispy? It is. It's beautiful. It almost feels like it was like deep fried. Yes, exactly. That's that's the whole, that's what makes this so delicious. And yet you didn't add any fat to it. It didn't get deep fried and you didn't have to really do any work. Like this is so, so simple. And so the whole and point is like, if it wasn't in the fridge on covered for eight hours, that wouldn't have been right. right? Because you know, it's funny because uh, like Ellis, he opened up can you see soft. how nice and golden the potatoes? How'd your potatoes turn out? Mine are a little darker than that, but also it's because you have to use on gold. Right. The, right. The rest but these are, are, they're just, you know, they have just enough they're color. Caramelized on the bottom. Right. Oh, but I like caramelized. Can I see that again? Oh, those look, oh yeah, those look delicious. I think those look amazing. And then, we have one more potato. If you have any juice at all on your tray, which I have very little, Thank you me. want to just put them around your potatoes. You don't really want to get it on the skin because you really want to keep that skin super crispy. Okay. And if you have any fresh herbs, you can certainly garnish if you were entertaining and you just wanted to garnish with a little bit of fresh herbs. If you have some from your garden, uh, this is the time to use it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the platter here, just because I happen to have it. So what do you think, Bob? It's lovely. Looks good, right? Yeah. And you can even take another lemon and certainly put some lemon wedges here also, which would really look very nice too. But here, whoa. Orange. Here's, do you have any uh, fresh herbs left? Yeah. Boy, this looks really good, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm ready for dinner. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to hurry up. Please. All right, in the restaurant, we could never let the plate go out without a garnish. So here we go. Right. That's and, and, you go. and you always want to garnish with oh. whatever, you, whatever you've cooked with, right? It's always nice to do that. 
But look how nice that would look on a buffet table oh, with yeah. some nice salads. Oh, that looks beautiful. Very nice. So dinner is ready. And I can't wait for you and Elias to try the chicken with the skin. It's so nice and crispy. And I have to say, this was right quite, now. I was going to say, this is quite a family affair. And I really enjoyed it. And I hope we do it again soon. This yeah, was fun. I was going to say, anyone who's watching if this is a, a video that you like and you know you want to see a couple more um you know please leave a comment below or if there's anyone of my mom's followers that would maybe want to see like the, the me in this situation like do you want to cook with her because i mean hey, advice, you know, if you ever, like, like hit a road bump or you know just like uh, any kind of problem in the kitchen like she'll be able really to, to kind of walk you through it so if you're interested okay. again maybe send a comment below or you can just dm her on instagram well, I welcome that. And that sounds really good. And I hope that you try this chicken because it's delicious. YouTube channel, Cooking with Suzanne. That's right. See you again soon, everyone. Have, Have a good great dinner, night. everyone. Good night. Stay safe out there. Enjoy. Good night. Bye. Bye.